Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem on Green's theorem. Okay, this topic we are chosen from vector integral calculus. So given problem is use Green's theorem in a plane to evaluate integral over c 2x square minus y square dx plus x square plus y square dy where c is the boundary in the xy plane of the area enclosed by x axis okay enclosed by the x axis and the semicircle x square plus y square is equal to 1 in the upper half of the x y plane okay friends nothing but you see here they are given x axis this is y axis na? so enter this x axis and the uh, upper half of semicircle semicircle is nothing but like this and that to upper half of the circle so in the x y plane okay this is x square plus y square is equal to 1 now we have to evaluate the integrand in the given region this one in the given region you see friends this is x axis this is y axis now it is a semicircle that two in x y plane upper half of the circle upper half of the plane okay now upper half of x y plane you have now so this is x square plus y square is equal to 1 in this region you have to evaluate this integrand okay you will get uh, either a b c d or e any one of the option so i am giving this is work for you task for you okay so now i will solve similar problem just problem as it is but the circle is here x square plus y square is equal to a square i will solve with a square so if i have done with this so you go through this video then you can do very easily the first what i gave that problem i will wait for your answer please after getting the solution please give your if please write your answer in the comment box thank you now coming to the problem here you see here they are given use the green's theorem to evaluate they are given so they are not given verify verify is nothing but here you have to do lhs and rhs of the green's theorem statement what is the statement of green's theorem you have integral m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral over r this is integral over c c should be a closed otherwise you cannot apply the green's theorem here the reason is uh, bounded by the closed curve or not yes so you can apply green's theorem do n by do x minus do m by do y into dx dy okay now so the given problem from the given problem what is m here dx question what is n here dy question so i am writing m is equal to 2x square minus y square m is equal to 2x square minus y square and uh, n is equal to x square plus y square n is x square plus y square now do m by do y i want na, and do n by do x do m by do y is nothing but differentiating m partially with respect to y so treat other variables as a constant here is there any y term no so independent of y is nothing but it is a constant constant derivative is 0 minus y square derivative is 2y next do n by do x is nothing but we are differentiating n partially with respect to x while differentiating partially with respect to x we have to treat other variables as a constant now x square derivative to 2x plus y square is there here there is no y term so it is independent of x so uh, this derivative will be 0 so you will have here do m by do y is nothing but minus 2 y do n by do x is nothing but 2x therefore integral m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral over r do n by do x is 2x minus do m by do y is minus 2y so minus of minus plus 2y into dx dy so here 2 you can take common double integral over r x plus y into dx dy friends here you see reason is upper half of the circle this problem you can do in two methods you can do in two methods one is uh, you can do in cartesian coordinate plane and polar coordinate polar coordinates also changing into polar coordinates also change of the variables means changing into polar coordinates also you can do friends this problem i am doing in a change of the variables so here you have a cartesian coordinates na? so actually we have x square plus y square is equal to a square in the polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta generally for the uh, full circle theta is from 0 to 2 pi we will have and uh, dx dy is equal to jacobian of dr d theta jacobian transformation we already studied the jacobian is nothing but which is transformed from one variable to another variable 
okay now dx dy for this already we are done jacobian that is r only you will have so dr d theta this is in polar coordinates but here you observe this is for full circle but here you have upper half of the circle only so and the theta is from 0 to 2 pi okay generally r is from minus a to a but here it is upper half of the circle only we are taking so r is from 0 to a so if you want to find out the r draw the uh, straight line which is like this you draw so here r started radius is started 0 and end with the a so here you observe r is from 0 to a you have to take and theta this angle is occupied in a, this region is occupied in how many quadrants two quadrants first quadrants means 0 to pi by 2 only you have to take but here starting from 0 and to two quadrants so you have to take 0 to pi 0 to pi now two times of double integral double integral one is 0 to a another one is 0 to pi what is x you consider r cos theta plus what is y r sin theta into what is the dx dy r dr d theta r dr d theta x is equal this is y sorry i have done a small mistake now here you observe theta i will multiply and then i will tell you one thing for you integral 0 to a this is r limit and the theta is from 0 to pi here r you multiply then you will have r square cos theta plus r square sin square theta in uh, sorry sin theta into dr d theta friends here you observe r limits is 0 to a theta limits also 0 to pi so both will be independent limits whenever independent limits integration you can do irrespective of order so i can do like this you can separate like this integral 0 to a two times integral 0 to pi r square cos theta okay plus integral 0 to a two times only integral 0 to pi r square sin theta dr d theta here also dr d theta so i am doing here r into r square integration r cube by 3 limits from 0 to a next cos theta integration cos theta is integration derivative is minus sin theta but integration is sin theta only limits from 0 to pi plus 2 times of r square integration r cube by 3 sin theta integration minus cosine theta sin theta derivative is cos theta but integration is minus cos theta limits from 0 to pi here limits from 0 to a so here you see 2 upper limit if you are substituted first two, 1 by 3 i am writing out sir. a cube minus 0 cube is nothing but a cube next sin pi sin pi is how much 0 minus sin 0 is also 0 only plus this is you see 2 by 3 here you have minus term so take minus outside minus 2 by 3 upper limit if you are substituted a cube minus 0 next cos pi cos pi is how much here minus 1 next cos 0 is how much 1 only so here you have this is this entire term is 0 only because product of 0 no? so 0 this is which value double integral over r 2 times of x plus y into dx dy is equal to minus 2 by 3 is there see minus 2 by 3 a cube here you have minus of uh, minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 times of 2 is 4 therefore finally what you can see means integral over c 2x square minus y square into dx plus x square plus y square into dy is equal to 4 by 3 times of a cube so you can answer your question or not yes or no it is easy or not Friends, you can solve this problem in Cartesian coordinates also. We will see Cartesian coordinate later. Uh, of course, I have already done so many number of the problems in the Cartesian coordinates in the upper half of the circle also. Thank you for watching this video. Please answer your uh, solution in the comment box. Right? Thank you for watching this video.